Hey everyone, I'm going to show you a real quick video about how to compare fractions. There's a lot of different methods, but this is one method that I find works really well when you're trying to compare two different fractions. Um, I've heard this method called a lot of different names. Some people call it the butterfly, some people call it crisscross, some people call it X marks the spot. Whatever it is that will help you remember how to do this uh, method uh, will work. So. Here we go, let's try it with the first fraction. I picked a couple of really simple fractions to show you the first example. What we're going to do is we're always going to start with the bottom number and we're going to actually going to cross over to the top number and I'm going to draw an arrow like that. So what I'm going to do with these two numbers is I'm going to multiply them, 4 times 1, and I draw the arrow this way to let me know that I need to put my product of that 4 times 1 over here on this side. So 4 times 1 is 4. Now the significance of this number doesn't really mean anything to the fraction except that it's just going to help you compare these two fractions. So now we're going to go the other way. We're going to start at the bottom, crisscross over to the other side, and multiply 2 times 3 and write that answer over here. 2 times 3 is 6, so therefore 6 is bigger than 4, 3 fourths is the bigger fraction out of one, um, over 1 half. So as you can see, this is uh, where it got the crisscross name or X marks the spot. Some people call it the butterfly because it, um, I don't know, the way that they write it looks like butterfly wings. Uh, let's try another example. So down here we have 3 twentieths and 5 twelfths. Again, I'm going to start at the bottom, cross over to the top, 20 times 5 is 100. I'm going to write that over here to the right hand side. Then I'm going to cross this way, 12 times 3. 36. So since I have 100 is bigger than 36, 5 twelfths is greater, or 3 320, twentieths is less than 5 twelfths. It even works when you have fractions that are equivalent. So we're going to do the same method. 15 times 2 is 30. 5 times 6 is 30. So therefore, these two fractions are equal. Hope that helps you uh, when you're comparing fractions. Please subscribe and please check out my other Tutoring B videos. Thanks.